In this brief video, we're going to determine the equation for the half-life for a reaction that would follow first-order rate kinetics. So our generic equation could be A reactant decays to, let's say, B product. So the half-life for this first-order uh, rate kinetics so is going to, uh, uh, we'll have to use the integrated rate law for first order, where A is some generic reactant, and the integrated rate law is the natural log of A, some time T, minus the natural log of A initial equals negative KT. Now I'm going to be solving this equation for the half-life, which is abbreviated T one half. And at the half-life, the concentration of the reactant is equal to one half the initial concentration. So I can substitute in um, for the T, the concentration of A at time T, one half A naught because my T is going to be one half at the half lifetime. All right, so the natural log of, um, excuse me, the natural log of one half a naught minus the natural log of a naught equals negative k t one half. You can multiply the equation through by divide the equation through by negative one over k, and when I do that, I can rearrange um, my equation to be negative the natural log of one half a naught plus the natural log of a naught over k equals t one half. Rearranging further, taking the quotient of the um, <clears throat> natural log, um, because it would be the natural log of a naught minus the natural log of one half a naught is the same as the natural log of a naught over one half a naught, and all of that is over k equals t one half and I get the natural log of 2 over k equals t one half. And what you can see here, <clears throat> which is very important, which is the same as 0 0.693 over k, what you can see here that's very important is that the half-life is independent of concentration. All right. So this is a convenient equation that we can use. Let's use it here. The half-life of methyl mercury in the body is 70 days. So that means the half-life is 70 days. The question is how many days are required for the amount of methyl mercury to drop to 10%? Okay, 70 days would be 50%. We want to know what 10% after accidental ingestion. Well, we can say um, what the uh, concentration would be after uh, one half-life, two half-life, three half-lives, but this is not um, a direct fraction of a half-life, it's 10%. So what we can do is we can use the half-life equation to determine K and then use of this equation and then use the uh, integrated rate law to answer this question. So the half-life um, equals 0.693 over K equals T one half. From this equation, plugging in the 70 days, we can calculate the K equals 0 0.0099 inverse days. Okay, so that's what the K equals um, in this particular case. And so from that then we can calculate um, using the form of the integrated rate equation where we have the natural log of A at some time T over the natural log of A over the divided by the initial concentration uh, the log of the concentration at some time T divided by the log it initially equals negative kt. Now I have a value for k. I'm wanting to know t, and I want to know how long it takes for the um, concentration to drop to 10% of the original. So in that case, the a at some time t is going to equal 0.1 times the original. So I'll say the natural log of 0.1 times a naught over a naught equals negative 0 0.0099 times t, the time that we're looking for. This of course cancels, 
And so I'm left with a natural log of 0.1 divided by negative 0 0.0099, um, solving for t, t equals 233 days. Okay, now does that make sense? I think so, because 50%, um, you'd be down to 50% after 70 days. Another half-life would get you to 25%. Another half-life, which would be 210 days, would get you to um, 200 and uh, would get you to 12.5%, uh, and so 10% at 233 days sounds reasonable.